Audience, I'd like to call your attention to Reverend and Mrs. A.F. Banks of Noonan, Georgia, ministers of the gospel who have returned to give their story. People have also written about them and asked about their healing. Reverend Banks started preaching in 1957. Early he began having pains in his lungs where he became short of breath. The doctor said it was emphysema and he would develop such pain that he had to stop his preaching. His breathing became so difficult he could not continue and he gave up his church and ministry and came to one of our crusades. Let's welcome them to the platform at this time. How do you do, Mrs. Banks, Reverend Banks? Good evening. Good you look a little yeah. different yeah. than you were in Irving, Texas. You remember the night you were prayed for? I here is what took place when Reverend Banks was prayed for on July 11th, 1962, at Irving, Texas. And uh, you're from Noonan, Georgia. And Brother Banks, you have a lung condition, don't you? Yes, sir, I do, Brother and what Robert. does it do to you? Brother Roberts, as I preach, uh, I got to where I had no breath. In other words, I breathe in too much air. I can't, my lungs won't process it. In turn, it throws poison into my blood. And that goes to my head, and I almost die then with a severe headache. Yes. From that. I have no breath, too. And your around. wife, Ethel Banks, wants the Holy Spirit, wants the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Yes. She has a face and scalp condition and other things. And this is Billy. Billy, what do you want me to pray for you for tonight? To be a minister when I grow up. You want to be a minister? Yes, sir. Why, son? It's to win lost souls to Christ. Uh huh. How long do you want to win lost souls? rest of my life. Well, for the rest of your life? Yes, sir. Amen. Father, anoint this boy according to your call that he may preach the gospel and win lost souls to Jesus Christ. Son, turn around and let the people pray for you when I pray for you. And that you may be filled with the Holy Ghost to win lost souls to Jesus Christ and bring healing to the sick. And my sister, may you be healed of this scalp condition and face condition and skin condition and may you be filled with the spirit and brother banks may your lung be loosed and may the air go in and come out right and may you be able to preach the gospel in the name of christ now brother banks i know you're baptist and and you may never have received the baptism like on the day of pentecost and you've heard me preach about it and you know i'm sincere I want it. You want it. Do. You don't have any questions or doubt. You just no, want the baptism. I want it. I Lord, baptize him with the Holy Ghost uh, and fill him with the Holy Spirit this hour. Hallelujah. Amen. Now you continue seeking until you receive it. When I turn my head, the joint in my neck, it uh, cracks, and it cuts off my hearing, my vision, my thinking, and my memory. I want you to pray that God will heal me in at night. When I lay down, I can hear noises. Uh -huh. Pray that God will give it back. Father, night. loose her neck. Heal. Now, don't you have any doubt? Sister, don't you have any doubt? Has she received the baptism yet? She got it in our Memphis crusade in January. And her Baptist pastor husband's right behind her. And he's going to have it, isn't he? He's going to have it. Amen. Have you returned to the ministry? Yes, I, I am back preaching again. Are you Very well? Yes, I am well. Thank How God do you know that. you're well? well? Brother Roberts, <laughs> I know because there's no pain there when I stand and speak for God. There is no pain in my body whatsoever. And I have uh -huh. the breath to preach uh, as long as God sees fit for me. To, uh -huh. to bring the message. And you've been restored to the ministry. Yes, thank God. What has happened spiritually to you since your healing? Well, Brother Robert, I have been closer to the Lord. I have, I have had greater power in that of the Lord and God's work since you have prayed for me. And seemingly, God has given me a greater deliverance of his word uh, since that time. I'd like to ask your wife, is this true, what he's telling us? Yes, sir, it tr certainly is true. It was true before yes, yes, sir. that he had this thing in his lungs? Yes, sir, that's right. Now he breathes normally? Yes, sir. He's been restored to yes. his ministry? Yes, sir. Can you tell a difference in his preaching? I surely can. In what way? Well, in the power. The, the way power that, is The there. way that the Lord delivers you. I understand you received... I understand you received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I, I did, Brother Roberts, but... 
Tonight, I want you to pray for me that God will restore it unto me. I've not used the gift that God has given me. In other words, me. you've not stirred the gift up that's right. normally. And that, God has... That's true of thousands of people who are filled right. with the Holy Spirit at one time. Father, may she stir up the gift that's in her. In the name of Christ, may they stir up the gift in the name of your Son, Jesus. And may many others be filled with the Holy Spirit. And everyone said, Amen. I want to thank you for coming back. What would you say to someone who wanted to be healed? Brother Robert, I'd like to say this tonight. Certainly a person has got to realize that they have to turn to God. There is no other that can do the healing except God. We must believe. We must have faith in God. I believe we all have a certain amount of faith, but we've got to exercise that faith. We've got to put Good. it to use tonight. Simply trust God. Read his word and believe, and it will be done. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. We certainly appreciate your coming. This is a special request from a friend. Right. Right. For your brother, too. Right, Joe. My brother, God bless. And thanks again. Right. Amen. Now, I'm ready to pray for you. If you'll lay your hands upon your body, or place your hand upon your television screen, I'm ready to ask God to perform a miracle in your life. Are you ready? Our Heavenly Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we ask for a great healing and deliverance of this our friend in Christ. My brother, in his name, receive healing. My sister, in his name, be healed, be healed. Father, I pray for this child. May this child be healed through your son, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen.